the Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun is rumored to be 30,000 years old. Its captivating tale has been circulating the internet since 2005. This means that Bosnian pyramids would not only predate the iconic Egyptian ones, but also according to Dr. Samos Managic, they are twice their size. These bold claims have stirred up a fair share of controversy in various conferences and forums. But I don't fully trust the internet, especially Wikipedia, that I've already disproven several claims on. So it was only logical for me to pack my things and drive to Bosnia. The prejudice of mainstream historians drives us to believe that humanity was still primitive 10,000 years ago. Yet there are countless structures in the ancient world that we lack the knowledge to build today. Since 2005, there has been a dispute regarding whether the Bosnian Pyramid is a natural formation or a structure. As soon as Dr. Osmanagic published his discovery, Zahi Hawass, the infamous corrupt Egyptologist, did everything in his power to stop the excavations. Geologists and Egyptologists petitioned to stop the Bosnian Pyramid from being publicly announced. What were they so afraid of? On the other hand, over 50 esteemed archaeologists and professors from Harvard, Egypt, and even Russia came forward defending the discovery of the pyramid. But most of them were silenced. They were the likes of Professor of Archaeology from Harvard, Ezra Zebro. Uh, it would be my very strong opinion that the research that is being done here should be allowed to be continued in its most unfettered form. Egyptologist Nabil Swalem. Pyramid is something stupendous. It is above imagination. We have the pyramids uh, of Egypt and we think that, I mean, the pyramids belong to us, they don't belong to you. And even astrophysicists like Dr. Paul Lavoillet. Every one of these experts who visited the site confirmed that this was indeed a real pyramid, but many others who didn't even visit Bosnia, claimed the opposite. I decided to follow the example of good guys and visit myself. And after two days of driving through forests and unknown roads through Montenegro, we finally saw the pyramid. And it was enormous. Before we entered the miles of underground tunnels, we decided to climb to the top and look for clues that would tell us whether it was a legit ancient pyramid or just a hill. You can see all four sides are angled toward the ground to the same degree. This was the first thing I wanted to check. Many would say that this is an initial formation, but the Pyramid of the Sun in Teotihuacan, Mexico, looked like an ordinary hill before it was excavated. All you need to do is look at the before and after pictures. If you're wondering how enormous structures like that can become buried, we must remember that we have proof of how cataclysmic floods occur in cycles at the abrupt end of ice ages due to glaciers melting. The last flood was the one documented in the Bible and across a dozen cultures all around the world. Most likely, it was the one that buried these pyramids under the soil. Mainstream archaeology honors four main conditions before declaring something as a legitimate man-made pyramid like the ones in Egypt, Mexico and Peru. Very often, buried pyramids are dismissed as hills or natural formations like mountains. The four criteria that must be met to officially recognize a buried pyramid as legitimate are number 1. Geometry The form of the Bosnian pyramid is undoubtedly a square pyramid with equilateral triangular sides that converge into an apex. We climbed to the top and explored all sides, and we even saw the corner where two sides of the pyramid met. This discovery later allowed Dr. Smanagic's team to determine the construction materials of the pyramid. Number 2. Science of Construction By excavating the surface, Dr. Smanagic and his team found artificially made concrete blocks and sent them to a third-party laboratory that dated these blocks to 32,000 years ago. Luckily, I've spent a few years studying civil engineering and concrete has something we call compressive strength, which basically is the hardness of the material. The normal concrete we use in residential buildings has a hardness of 35 megapascals, and the one found in this pyramid ranges from 2 to almost 4 times harder than this. Of course, with time, concrete cures and becomes harder but not to this extent. On the other hand, modern engineers have recently developed ultra-high performance concrete that is twice as hard as the material used in the Bosnian pyramid. This advancement suggests to some 
that while the ancient builders were skilled, it's not accurate to claim they were more technologically advanced than contemporary engineers. But I say perhaps we might be looking at the wrong properties of concrete. Actually, from a civil engineering point of view, the hardness of the concrete is not that important. If you want a building to remain functional for millennia, what is important is how much water the concrete absorbs, because that defines the lifespan of the material. Some of the better, widespread concrete we currently use in construction has a 5% water absorption rate, which means every winter it gets damaged little by little because the water inside it freezes and causes it to deform and crack. The more the percentage of water absorption, the better the concrete and the more years it will last. The concrete found in the Bosnian pyramid is 30,000 years old and it has a water absorption rate of just 1%. This is something we too have achieved, but it is so expensive to do, we don't usually do it in many buildings. Our modern concrete lasts around 200 years, and this one in the Bosnian pyramid has lasted 150 times longer. The third condition for a pyramid to be a pyramid is for it to be geographically aligned to the north. This means one of its sides to be perpendicular to the north. All confirmed Egyptian, Peruvian and Chinese pyramids are oriented toward the north. So far, the Egyptian pyramid had the lowest error in its orientation being 0 degrees in just 2 minutes. And now, the Bosnian pyramid, with 0 degrees, 0 minutes and just 12 seconds, is the most precise orientation we've ever seen toward the north. And if you're wondering why all pyramids are situated toward the north, I explain how to make a pyramid at home and harness the power of Earth's electromagnetic field in my How to Make an Organ Pyramid video. All the pyramids found across the globe are near a river or underground water. This remains the same for the Bosnian pyramid. Near Visoko in Bosnia, they found not one, but three pyramids and the distances between the three formed an equilateral triangle. Underneath all of these pyramids was a large network of underground waters. 4. Underground tunnels and passageways These further confirm that the pyramid is an edifice, built by men just like in Egypt. We have tunnels underneath the Bosnian one. They are spanning for miles under and around the pyramid. And I'll show you the inside because we enter with an experienced guide. Our guide, Lemia, has been with the excavation from the start, and luckily, she runs us through all the details. In the sea, first the second layer of cloud green blocks, we found fossilized leaves, which is organic material. We carefully sent it for radiocarbonic analysis uh, on an institute in Germany, Sweden, and Poland, and we got from with them that those fossilized leaves were around 29,200 plus minus 400 years old. So this is scientifically proven age on the pyramid, minimum age of the pyramid, which makes it one of the oldest pyramids in the whole world. Every pyramidal complex comes with underground tunnels. Tunnels were made to be entrances to these pyramidal structures, so that's why we were on a search for the entrances to these underground tunnels, and to this day we found seven of them, but this one behind me is the main one. So, uh, I hope that you will enjoy this tour, just so you know, there are some low parts in the tunnel, so that's why we wear these headless, but nothing will fall on your head, you can completely relax and enjoy this tour as much as. As you can see, even though we are under the ground, we don't have any ventilation systems, because we don't need them at all. Here, air flows completely naturally, so no matter where, how, how far away we are from the entrance, we always have fresh and clean air. And just so you know, air quality in the tunnels, is way better compared to the outside, and that was because of huge amount of negative environments. In the tunnels, Lemia, our guide, shows us how, at the intersecting points between underground rivers, the ancient people who inhabited these tunnels had placed artificial stones. These stones served as a very strange function to mitigate the energy generated by crossing rivers. Sorry, this man made them. Yes, yes. This word here is actually a type of ceramic, and we call these structures mega ceramic blocks. Mm -hmm. This ceramic is a mixture of sandstone, melted clay, chips of quartz crystal and water. Everything had to be combined together, shaped, and then baked at very high temperatures. Because to make ceramic like this, you need temperatures that are higher than 1000 degrees. Every single one of the blocks that we also discovered deeper in the tunnels is from the same material, but they are bigger and bigger as well. 
And as they are bigger and bigger, they are also made out of multiple pieces. You can notice that because of these smaller lines. For example, this block is made out of two pieces that have been glued together on the spot. Because we notice bigger and bigger blocks, specifically put on very different locations and unique locations, we, we, so we predicted that we, they, may, they might have a function inside. With GeoRadar scanning, we discovered that the underneath every single one of these blocks is underground water stream. In this case, underground water stream is 21 meters underneath this block. It forms exactly from this direction, goes directly underneath it. And it's exactly the same width as this block as well. You may have heard that it's not good to build anything on top of underground water streams because they produce something called geopathic radiations. These are actually very low levels of frequency that can affect stability of the buildings. Cracks can form in the walls after some time, and they can also affect our health, especially if you're exposed to a huge amount of geopathic radiation for one of the periods of time. Looks like ancient civilizations knew this very well, because here in the tunnels we discovered a big network of underground water stream, and what that coincidence, or is it not? Every single one of the blocks was put exactly on top of one of them. These blocks have very important function in the tunnels. They neutralize geopathic radiations, and we were able to, st to discover how these blocks work. The main thing that they love the job here is the quartz crystal that's inside of these blocks, because crystals and minerals usually in science fall into the category of piezoelectrics. These are structures that are in the same time positively and negatively charged on their ends, and they act like natural magnets. These electrics are sensitive to frequencies so that whenever they hit them, they start to vibrate on micro level by themselves. This same reaction is happening with every single piece of quartz crystal that is inside of these blocks. Because this underground water stream is still active, is producing geopathic radiations, and they ship block that is on top of them. They hit all those pieces of quartz crystal that are inside, quartz is constantly vibrating on micro level, and that's how it's neutralizing the geopathic energy. Behind me, you can see one the intersection that is still broke. All the tunnels originally looked like this when I first found them. But I will explain everything in order. When civilization who was making this pyramidal complex decided to make it right here in this small lead, they first started with tunnels because they needed material to make concrete blocks of the pyramid of the sun. So, when they started uh, making tunnels through this conglomerate, bringing them through, all the excess conglomerate was taken out and it was used to make concrete blocks of the Pyramid of the Sun. And those concrete blocks are a mixture of conglomerate, melted clay, lime and water. So that's how tunnels and Pyramid of the Sun, we, and we know that they were made in the same period, period of time. And a few thousand years later, one civilization decided to close tunnels for unknown reason, and they did that by bringing tons and tons of fill up material from riverbeds, probably from local ones, but for rows. And they have brought this gravel inside, put it all the way to the top of these tunnels, but the gravel is very soft material, it's just a mixture of sand and stones. So that's why after some time it compressed. And we always have this separation of material at every top of tunnels. You don't have to be an expert, but you can immediately notice arch of the tunnel height and almost width as well. So when we come to clean tunnels, everything is easy for us. We just follow this closed material. We don't want to expand tunnels in height and width at all, and we don't make new tunnels. We just find the old ones. But what's helping us find tunnels easily is this structure right here called drywall. Drywall is made out of bigger rocks that are perfectly aligned on top of each other without any binder. And we keep finding this structure at every start and at every end of each tunnel, no matter which entrance it is. This, uh, drywalls was, these drywalls were made to hold this fill up material inside and also to divide tunnels in sections when this civilization was closing them. So that's how we know that tunnels were closed manually. Yeah. In this gravel, many times we found pieces of branches and wood, which is organic material. We sent it for radiocarbonic analysis, of course. 
and Renzo showed us that all of those pieces were 5,000 years old, so that's how we discovered for more, how many years our tunnels closed. Initially, when I saw that most tunnels are sealed, I thought it was the flood that filled most passageways with gravel. But they were sealed not only with gravel, but with rocks purposely put there by humans in the form of stone walls. Someone sealed these passageways, and we don't know why. The only thing that the guide told us is that they found inscribed runes that shed some light on the mystery. Experts translated these runes, and here's what they meant. This structure right there was originally found on its face, and experts immediately knew that it's not it's, that it's not the position that it needs to be in. And when we lifted it up, we noticed that on this side we have erased symbols on surface. I will lie here from different directions so that you can see the symbols of the land here. But we did a laser scanning of the surface, which discovered that here we have 25 symbols and break. We sent this picture to many experts throughout the whole world in hopes that they would be able to recognize and translate the symbols that are here. You can pass. <laughs> and experts said the seven symbols perfectly align with seven of these runic symbols. Runic symbols are around two to three thousand years old, and when the expert was able to translate these seven symbols, and this is what they say. The gate is closed. We are at the standstill. We have to fight and conquer until the cosmic gate is finally opened again. We don't know what this can mean. We can only try to of course, find out what's happening here in this world. But with more research, we discovered that here we have proto-runic symbols, which rules the four runes. Because the runes are around two to three thousand years old, the ring have proved that tunnels are for, closed for at least five thousand years. Proto-runic and generally runic symbols are very hard to be translated, because one symbol by itself can mean one letter, one word, or even one full sentence. And then in combination of few of them, that can be a few different translations. But just so you know, these are not only symbols that were discovered. With mirror cleaning, we found different symbols, hundreds of them, engraved on different surfaces, like stones, stone tools, and ceramics. So this is just another proof that these insufficient civilizations who were in this area, they had very big intelligence, advanced technology, and they also knew how to write and they left us many messages. I will certainly return when the path is clear and explore inside. After our short expedition, I can certainly say this is an artificially man-made structure and not a natural formation. The Bosnian Pyramid of the Sun fits all criteria to be ruled as a man-made pyramid older than anything else humanity has found so far. I highly recommend visiting it if you're near the Balkans. If you are into ancient civilizations, have you heard about Iram, a mythical city nobody thought existed because the Quran said it was built by giants? Well, it turns out it is very real and Iram's location was finally revealed. So you can see that in the next video and thank you for watching.